Hello, I'd like to go over some best practices for solar edge monitoring installation. Uh, you see here I've already screwed in the outdoor antenna to the cable and fed it through that cable gland on the left, making sure to use the small hole so it would make a proper seal. And then I tightened this seal tight until the cable does not budge. And then I apply power to my inverter and I hold in the button for four seconds to get to the menu. Go down to communication by pressing once, hold it in to select it. And then I change the server to go down to Zigbee. And there we go. Exit. I hear you can use these buttons too to go up or down, select, and this is escape. And then once my inverter is set to Zigbee, I go over to my gateway, which is normally paired while it's close by. I hold that little red button for f until all the lights come on. and then we let it search. Once it finds the inverter, that yellow link light will blink once every five seconds for every slave device that the gateway found. And then I take it inside and plug it into the homeowner's internet. The SOK light should light up to show that this gateway can communicate to the Solar Edge website. And that is how you set up the monitoring for Solar Edge. So after the panels are installed, we'll let it run for about half an hour so all those optimizer serial numbers can get back up to the website. And we log on to the monitoring portal and set up our monitoring online and then give the customer access via the website. While I'm here, I should go over some labeling, like PV power source stickers on any pipes that enter the house every 10 feet. I'll make another video about how we do our particular labeling. Have a good day.